Hello all traders. In this lesson of Module 4, Workshop 12, we will provide an overview of Module 1 to 4, which covers basic to advanced price action trading. As you have seen in the previous module, the interconversion of the trend to sideways and vice versa is gradual, and many traders miss to see these transitions and act properly. To address this, we incorporated five decision-making algorithms in our high probability trend following setup, which provides a high win rate and will be discussed in modules 5 to 11 in detail. The first two algorithms train you to recognize early when a trend is forming and when is at the late stage and lost its momentum, so you can only trade the trending patterns and not sideways. So as you have learned and practiced in the first step, you look for a new turning point, update the new dynamic channel, and determine the type of pattern. Then, the first algorithm condition checks if your current pattern is trending. If the answer to the first algorithm condition is no, step 1 has to be repeated. So you keep updating the new dynamic channel until the new trend pattern is formed. The positive answer to ALGO 1 triggers step 2, which is momentum analysis by the range and slope methods. The second algorithm condition checks constantly the momentum and gauges the strength and weakness of the established trend. If momentum range analysis or momentum slope analysis indicates that the trend is strong and not weakened. You will continue towards the rest of the setup algorithmic conditions. While you constantly repeating step 1 with every new turning point and confirming that the pattern is the trend and then step 2 to confirm that the momentum is strong. And this cycle will be repeated, while you are checking other entry setup algorithmic conditions. You repeat steps and algos 1 and 2. Till the momentum shows signs of trend weakness. Then you should not look to enter any new positions and be prepared to close all open positions. And look at every new turning point to see if the trend gets strong again. Or transitions to the sideways. So, let's practice applying these two steps and algorithms to real market data. And obtain an early indication of the trend and sideways pattern transition. So we will not miss any strong trend. And stop trading when the trend shows a sign of weakness.